What's up YouTube, That Only Sheep here, bringing a crazy Barra 50 cal mob in drop zones. That means I have no kill streaks whatsoever, except for the ones that I can pick up from care packages at the checkpoint, which I don't anyway, because I'm selfish and I don't play the objective in this game. Yeah, that's right, boys and girls. Um, basically, what I tried to do is sort of cut off the choke points um, for... Basically, the pathways that people will take to, in order to get to that checkpoint, I'd use those lines of sight to take them off when they're just running their merrily way that way. Um, now, also, what makes this thing even more better is that 12 kills into this Moab, I get recon. So I sort of get 30 more kills. Remember, I'm not using Hardline to get this Moab, and I do it in style with a few quick scopes. So please enjoy. Now, guys, I'm thinking about starting up this series on my channel. Or you can call it a series, but I just want to start analyzing, giving my opinions on some YouTubers, because I, I really want to just express my feelings. I don't know what you guys think about it. You can all discuss in the comments section below if you like this series, what you think about the YouTubers I'll be talking about, and um, we can just have a little chat in the comments section. But today I want to start off with a few big YouTubers, and in particular, Wings of Redemption. Um, he, he's been having a lot of talk on the YouTube um, on with everyone lately um, about you know he he started off first of all I'll talk about wings he's he his emotions are very strong when he's in a bad mood he is in a bad mood and he expresses that in a very public manner he you know talks on Twitter and one day basically when he when he's getting little views little amount of money on a certain day he will feel fairly bad feeling pretty down but on other days when he's getting lots of views and he and he's getting a fair amount of income for that day he'll be upbeat and happy anyway this one day I'm pretty sure he wasn't getting many views at all he, he tried his hardest to get these videos out he uploads about three a day so that's a that's a hell of a lot of videos and he puts a lot of effort into his videos and it, but this day he wasn't getting lots of views he was feeling pretty down and he started tweeting he, he was saying he was gonna kill himself some suicide tweets and um, you know he's getting fairly into it, and and there's a lot of backlash from this. People talking about it, saying um, all this stuff. You know, you're getting to yourself too far into it. Just stop, stop feel, stop getting worked up about it. Um, anyway, um, a few days later, I don't know when it was on one of Woody Woody's Gamer Tag episodes uh, called Painkiller Already. It's like a live stream thing where. Each week, Woody invites several um, other YouTubers to talk, come on this live stream and just chat about stuff. And um, this time when they came on, Woody invited um, Wings of Redemption, White Boy 7th Street, and a few others. Anyway, they started talking about Wings of Redemption and how he um, tweeted that he was going to kill himself, blah, blah, blah. And then White Boy 7th Street got pretty worked up about this, and he started going on saying, Wings of Redemption, all he was doing was publicly saying that I'm going to kill myself to cause controversy, which in turn will get people to watch his videos, get more views, and more money. Say, so, White Boy Street is basically saying, Wings of Redemption will do anything to get money, even if that means lie to his subscribers, saying that he'll kill himself, and all this type of stuff. Now, personally, I do agree with that partly, that um, Wings of Redemption does go a bit far. He does think too much about how to get views on his videos but after all this is his job his career so he should be you know doing stuff um, to get these views whether it's giving giveaways uh, making interesting videos commentaries I don't I think he has gone too far in that degree if he was I think it was just he was having a bad day and he, and he wanted to express himself I don't think he was wanting to do it for views or for publicity um, anyway so on this PKA episode where White Boy 7 Street was attacking Wings, Wings was yelling back at him, they were having this massive argument, you know, Wings was fighting back saying, you know, you're just as bad, White Boy 7 Street, you always give Xbox, PS3 giveaways, you never like other people's videos and, and help them out. That's true, but White Boy 7 Street is obviously just doing it for more views as well. He's trying to get more money, derp derp, he obviously, he's get, trying to make more money. Um, now, my personal views on Wings of Redemption in particular, it's obvious he wants to get more views. I, I, I'm subscribed to him, I still like all his, all his videos because he he's obviously an active YouTuber. He likes to get this information up to date ready and he might may be one of these first people to um, express some sort of information, maybe um, new zombies trailer released or some, I don't for Black Ops 2, I don't know. It's just good to have him in the know, you know, people talk about him, and um, that that was one of the first places where I found out on his channel that um, everyone was talking about him on YouTube, and um, 
Then Wings did this vlog a, a, a fair bit later, a few days later, you know, saying there's been, he's been getting so much hate lately. Um, he just he's just getting so worked up, blah blah blah. And um, that video is just expressing his feelings again. Um, and yeah, so what I think about Wings Redemption. Yeah, so I, I told you I'm subscribed to him, but personally, I don't really like him. I think he's a bit cocky sometimes. Like, um, if I'll give you a link to some videos that I've been talking about to this commentary that I um, watched, his most recent one, where he just makes a little comment saying, if, if I tried, I wouldn't die once in Call of Duty. Now, obviously, that's a load of BS. And personally, I don't like him. He's a bit cocky. Let me know what you think about him in the comment section below. Like this video for this commentary and this Barra 50 Cal mode. And I'll see you next time. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.